I'm here at the Pennsylvania Farm Show in Harrisburg, and I'm joined by royalty as I am with the Royal Court for the Pennsylvania State Rabbit Breeders Association. We're going to go learn how and why rabbits are judged. Your Highness, please lead the way. Can both of you tell me how you got this wonderful honor? Well, it's a combination of academics and public speaking, really. You have to do a judge panel interview and a bunch of academic-related competitions. Uh, so we do uh, this thing called Brietti, where you go around, uh, they give you a certain amount of rabbits, and uh, each breed has a certain uh, color, a um, certain variety, and a certain class. Then uh, there are 48 different, 49, 50, 50 different breeds of rabbits. <laughs> Changes every year, uh, but they can choose like 25 of those, and they put them in, and uh, we have to write down a piece of paper, and we get judged on that. There's a book called The Standard yes. of Perfection that is recognized under ARBO, the American Rabbit Breeders Association, that basically describes that ideal rabbit. It'll say, like, the body type, how it should be shaped, what fur type they have, what color, and basically what breeders are trying to do is they're trying to get as close as possible to that standard of perfection and the judges will judge them based on that. I'm here with Ruth Ann Bell, who is one of the rabbit judges here at the farm show. Can you introduce yourself and tell me what it is that you do? Sure. Uh, so I actually started when I was a youth, uh, back when I was eight years old. And so for me, it was just kind of growing up through rabbits. I actually met my husband at a rabbit show. Oh, wow. uh, So rabbits has just been a part of our family um, for forever. And here at the Pennsylvania State Farm Show, we are going through and judging each of the breeds, um, both in the open uh, categories and the youth categories. And then at the end of the day, each of our best of breeds will compete for best in show. Um, we have various uh, fur types. This, uh, the Dutch have a what we call flyback fur, or it's a, it's a commercial fur um, that snaps right back into position when it is uh, stroked from head to head to the tail, very soft. Um, there's also wool, and we have the Angoras, the Jersey Woolies, and the American Fuzzy Lops that have that kind of fur, and it's extremely long. It takes a lot of dedication to get those animals to be in uh, show-ready condition. So right here, this is a Himalayan. They're one of the only cylindrical breeds, so they're made to be long, kind of like a Pringles can of, or a hot dog. They're judged on that length of body as well as that depth. They have these things called boots and socks on their markings. So right here, see how that's blue? We call that color blue. It looks like a gray. This is a sock. And then their feet are called their boots. If you look on his nose, that's called a nose egg. And then they have their ear markings. Right here is a Jersey Wooly. They're one of the smallest of the wool breeds. So they have a high head mount type because they're made to be posed kind of like this and up. They're known for their fiber. And this one is a mini lop. He is a lopped breed. He is a compact and he's more the mid size of the uh, lop breeds. Uh, there's a Holland lop, which uh, she actually has, is a little bit of a smaller breed. And there's also the French lop, which is a way bigger version of him. How many rabbits do you have? I only have about 35. <laughs> Honestly, that number fluctuates depending on the day because we're always selling and breeding and trying to get close to that standard of perfection. Oh, so cool. How many do you have? I have around 40 uh, breeds and uh, rabbits and we have uh, about six different breeds of rabbits. Oh, They're so very, cool. very sweet. They have a great personality. It also depends on how much you like work with your rabbit. Depends on the rabbit, but yeah, most of these breeds are like really nice and mm -hmm. they're awesome. Most rabbits them. are. Well, yes. the two of you have sold me, and I think I'm gonna go get myself one. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, come check this out. So my furry friend Lafayette won big today, as he won best of breed, and I won big because I got to spend my workday with furry friends at the farm show. For the Spark, I'm Anaya Falcon.